Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader. It's Thursday, March 11th. These are the charts of the day. Um, it's, we're going to do a mix of stuff today from my uh, uh, Tech Trader Universe and also from the Feb 40. Uh, but these are stocks that appear to be on the verge, either moving right now or on the verge of maybe making a move. Today, Cirrus, C E R S, jumped 22 cents or 8.3% on 850,000 shares. And as you can see, it's been stair stepping higher, but it had a little gap three days ago with real good volume that indicated maybe the stock is in play. In any case, closing at 285, a penny off the high for the day. That's right at the November high. We have the possibilities of a breakout coming tomorrow, uh, which could lead to a quick move up to the three and a half area, the spike high from August. And then we have additional resistance up around four uh, and a quarter, but that's my trading target going forward. CLNE had a huge day today, up 306. Um, broke out across double res resistance right in this zone here. And it did it on huge volume. Looks like, to me, a move is underway that's going to take this to test the top of the channel short term. And that is a move that approximates 25, maybe more, um, at least on a short term basis. Uh, and that may occur in the next day or two. China Armco Metals, Amco Metals, um, C A uh, C A C N A M, uh, which uh, was a recent um, listing on the on NASDAQ. Exploded last week, a uh, huge volume, and then backed off and formed a really pretty little bull coil or bull wedge, uh, pennant, whatever you want to call it. Uh, today, the stock volume picked up again, 2.2 million shares, up 50 cents, and we may be breaking out of this pattern as early as tomorrow. We'll see. Um, uh, I'm looking for a move to 12.5 and, and then 15 potentially on CNM um, <clears throat> over the next couple, three weeks potentially. CYCC, one of our portfolio positions, had a good day today. <clears throat> up 17 cents on f more than 5 million shares. That's the biggest volume in a month. More importantly, the stock closed right at the declining tops line at the top of the wedge pattern. Uh, after having broken out of the falling wedge here, which is within the larger coil pattern. So today, uh, yesterday it popped. Today it followed through nicely as volume increased. And if we get a follow through here, we may see a quick move that takes us up to the four dollar level, and ultimately something around five and a half, six would be my target on, C on CYCC going forward. DJSP uh, Enterprises um, is, is moving rapidly. Their er earnings is com are coming up. I expect a good report, but more importantly, the stock, as you can see, has now formed a nice rising channel. And a parallel move to the top of that channel could get us up to the um, $11, $11 range short term and then perhaps something that spikes it up into the 12-13 zone. Um, Based on the volume pattern and surge in technicals, I think this stock is uh, just beginning that move. FSII. FSII uh, was, it may be coming out of a major two-and-a-half-month coil pattern. And as you can see, the uh, volume today picked up the biggest uh, level in a month. And close it, the high for the day, or just with a couple of pennies away from the high for the day, and potentially a breakout. Um, over the next couple of months, I think the stock has a possibility of doubling to the six and a quarter and a half area. Um, and that's going to be my trading target on the intermediate basis, short term basis, looking for something around four and a half, three quarters. INCY. Insight had a big day today, up 65 cents, closing over 13 for the first time in years. Going all the way back uh, to, to two-year high. It's actually taken that out, and, and now it's approaching the 08, January 08 highs. Uh, I believe we actually closed above that as well today. So um, what we're seeing here is uh, a breakout above this entire multi-year base. And uh, next targets are up in the mid-teens and then high teens going forward. I, th I think... Uh, I don't see why I could reach the top of this channel and eventually make it into the low 20s. MAP Pharmaceuticals, MAPP, um, appears to uh, be up against key resistance from the February highs, but has broken out of the declining channel. Volume uh, increased for the first couple of days and backed off today as the stock had an inside day. But I'm anticipating additional price progress, which breaks it out above 1680 resistance and then moves into the um, high teens, maybe $20 uh, on my short-term trading target. Mindspeed, 
maybe breaking out of this wedge pattern or coil. Um, and notice that it's held the uh, trend line of the last 90 days, 60 days, and also the uh, 10 to 20 day moving averages. Um, volume picked up yesterday, another inside day today. I'm looking for a move that gets this up to $10, my short term trading target on MindSpeed. Nabby, former portfolio position, starting to perform nicely and may have accelerated out of this rising channel that it's been in uh, and accelerating the price move that should get it up towards the seven and a quarter, seven and a half area. My trading target going forward at the top of the long term rising channel up in this zone here, which is also um, up in this range at lateral price resistance. Nectar Pharmaceuticals, uh, one of my favorite, top top 10 or 20 favorite of the junior biotechs, continues to stair step, flag, stair step, flag, stair step. Now it's a rising flag with the top of the channel uh, somewhere around the $18 level. That's my short term trading target. And down the road, uh, looking for something potentially in the low 20s. PLXT, pulling back to key support. Very gently, very quietly, and low volume. Technical's holding up well. It's now at the 10-day moving average and lateral price support. This little flag here indicates to me we're going higher. I'm looking for a move that takes this PLXT towards the $7 range. RXII had a key breakout today, breaking out of a two-month coiling-type quiet pattern, which held the uh, lateral price support and the 50-day moving average. Notice today's volume, 780,000, the strongest in two months. Um, jumped 87 sensors, almost 16%, and closed it uh, within pennies of the high for the day going away. Lateral price resistance at 7 is my next trading target. I could be reached as early as tomorrow, but the uh, top of the ascending channel right here, right now, comes in around the $11 range, which is my uh, secondary trading target. Seed. I believe is on the verge of a potential strong move um, after moving sharply higher from the eight and a half to um, 11 and a half range or a little bit above that. The stock pulled back the last couple of days, bounced a bit today, uh, but I believe that this flag pattern above the moving average and uh, at this gap support here is going to result in a secondary move that takes us up towards the uh, 14, 14 and a half range, my next trading target on seed going forward. And then um, secondary target around 17, longer term target, low 20s on seed. Sequinam, flagging um, after the breakout, pulled back into the gap, but it's holding the moving average. Just looks like this one wants to break out and run again. I have a short term trading target at about 10 and a secondary target at the 12, 12 and a half zone. And lastly, XRTX, which also gapped up and has now formed a three, four day bull flag right in this zone. As volume dissipates, underlying technicals hold up very well. I expect a breakout from this flag that moves this up towards the $20 level, my short-term trading target, $24 target intermediate, and longer-term target at 30 plus. That's it for today. There's some additional ideas for you. We will uh, talk to you next Monday. In the meantime, have a nice weekend.